each and all, Ralph Waldo Emerson. Little thinks in the field yon red cloaked clown of thee from the hilltop looking down, the heifer that lows in the upland farm, far heard, lows not thine ear to charm, the sexton toiling his bell at noon, deems not that great Napoleon stops his horse and lists with delight, whilst his flies sweep brown yon alpine height. Nor knowest what argument thy life to thy neighbor's creed has lent. All are needed by each one. Nothing is fair or good alone. I thought the sparrow's note from heaven, singing at dawn on the elder bough. I brought him home, his nest at even. He sings the song, but it cheers not now. For I did not bring home the river and the sky. He sang to my ear, they sang to my eye. The delicate shells lay on the shore, the bubbles of the latest wave, fresh pearls to their enameled gave. And the bellowing of the savage sea greeted their safe escape to me. I wiped away the weeds and foam. I fetched my sea-born treasures home, but the poor, unsightly, noisome things had left their beauty on the shore, with the sun and the sand and the wild uproar. The lover watched his graceful maid, as mid the virgin train she strayed, nor knew her beauty's best attire, was woven still by the snow-white choir. At last she came to his hermitage, like the bird from the woodland cage. The gay enchantment was undone, a gentle wife, but fairy nun. Thee, I said, I covet truth. Beauty is unripe, childhood's cheat. I leave it behind with the games of youth. As I spoke beneath my feet, the ground pine curled its pretty wreath. Running over the club moss burrs, I inhaled the violet's breath. Around me stood the oaks and firs, pine cones and acorns lay on the ground. Over me soared the eternal sky, full of light and of deity. Again I saw, again I heard the rolling river the morning bird, beauty through my senses stole, I yielded myself to the perfect whole.